Alright, so now let's have a quick check of the performance of the X Router X running OpenWRT. So right here we can see that the X Router X is running OpenWRT 22.03. This is a stable release and the kernel version is 5.1.146. So on the network interfaces, uh, we have a very default configuration. The packet steering is enabled and we have the one port a GHCP client and the LAN port is uh, a bridge, all right? So let me check. So for the bridge LAN, let's see what do we have. For bridge LAN, we have Ethernet 1, 2, 3, and 4 and Ethernet 0 is the one port. On the network firewall configuration, we have the showway offloading still disabled. So let's proceed with the test. And for the test, we have top as well as edge top to see the CPU uses of a single core and multi-core. So I have an open speed test running at 10.42.0.1 and then the port is 3000. So let's proceed with that. All right, let's go. So we can see that with the shortwave offloading disabled, so we have 547 MPBS download with the CPU at 36% idle and the load is shared on four core of the CPU. For upload, we are having around 700 and 780 MPBS with the CPU at 31% idle. Is it now 28? All right. So here is a test with open speed test and to make sure, let's run it again. So this time we can see that the speed go to around 800 and then it dropped to around 700 MPPS. The CPU utilization is now 37% idle. And for upload, we have more or less the same, maybe 730 MPPS. So now let's run the test again, but this time we will take a look at the power consumption of the device. We are having 580 MPPS with around 3.1 Watt of power consumption. And for upload, we are having 760 MPPS with the power consumption at around 3.5 Watt. Now let's proceed with the iPub 3 test. For iPub 3, we can see that it's only utilize a single core of the CPUs and we are having 600 and 39 megabit per second So I will remove the P4 and let's check out the bandwidth So if we don't run the test in parallel stream the throughput can go up to 738 megabit per second and the CPU utilization is now around 55% idle with two cores almost fully utilized all right, so I will run the test, the iPod 3 test again, but this time it will be in reverse. Running the iPod 3 test in reverse mode, we are having around 369 megabit per second. So it is a very low speed and we can see that the throughput is not stable at all. So I will run the test again, but this time let's check out the power consumption of the device. Alright, so during idles, the power consumption is 2.4 Watt with a typical 12 volt 1 amp power adapter. Let's proceed with the iPod 3 test. So running the test at 739 megabit per second, the power consumption is 3.3 Watt, and we can see that the CPU utilization is around 46, and the CPU idle is around 57 or 56 percent. All right, so we almost done with the test, and now let's turn on the shortwave offloading and check it out. 
So for this one, I will be turning both the shortware and the hardware flow of loading because I know that it is available for the MT7621 SOC. So as usual, let's proceed with the open speed test. With the hardware offloading enabled, we are having around a gigabit throughput with 0% loss of the CPU as you can see from here. This is a really great result to see. And the same for upload, we are reaching 975 Mbps upload with the CPU at 99% idle. This is a really great result. So how about iPub3? Let's check it out. The first one is T twenties, and then this will be parallel stream. All right, so for iPub three, we are having the same throughput, which is nine hundred and forty three megabit per second, with the CPUs almost at ninety nine percent idle. After this, I will be running a revert test, and we will check it out. Let's do it again with a revert command. Still, we are having 935 megabit per second with 99% CPU idles or just 0% loss of the CPU as we can see from here. All right, so let me turn on the power consumption and we will see how much power the X router X takes when running the test. Alright, so right now we are at idle with 2.4 watt of power consumption and when I hit enter, let's see. So with 943 megabit per second, the power consumption is at 2.5 watt. So the power consumption only increase very little from 2.3 to 2.5, which is 0 0.2 watt. All right, so we have done the IPUB3 test as well as the open speed test for the X router X. And we can see that the performance of it with OpenWRT is really great. So beside the throughput test, you can also do some OpenVPN, Wygod VPN, and also SQM and QoS. However, the device is running the MT7621 LLC and the result of um, the performance is very popular on the internet. So I will not do it again. All right, so that's all about this video and I hope it will be useful when you want to search for the performance of the X router X running OpenWRT. And if you want to compare it with your HOS, it can be a really good reference point. Thanks for watching and see you in the future videos.